What's up guys, it's your boy Falcon back again and today I just want to make a quick short video about this do-it-yourself um, AC charge cans that they sell at, at the auto parts place. So if you're going to do this on your vehicle, stay tuned. This is one of those cans that they sell. It has a little hose, the little do it yourself. You put it in the low pressure side and then you add Freon to your system. Let's talk about this for a little bit. Um, these cans, they have Freon, you add Freon to your system. If you do not, if you do not need more Freon in your system, all you're gonna do is you're gonna overcharge it. Um, the compressor is not gonna turn on because it's gonna sense that it has too much pressure and that uh, it wants to conserve itself. So it's not even gonna turn on, number one. If it has too much Freon, but not, not too much where it's gonna turn itself off, um, but it's just too much, the pressures are never gonna be where they should be. It's gonna have more pressure um, than it should. So it's never gonna cool off properly inside the vehicle. So you might even make it hotter. Um, so if you're gonna put your Freon in the system, um, because you think it's low please make sure that it's low i've had cars come to me um, because they claim the ac doesn't work and then <laughs> i had this one car come to me telling me the ac doesn't work you know he said you know i turn it on sometimes i need a compressor kick in sometimes i don't but the ac doesn't get cool enough and i asked him have you done anything to it did you add free and blah, blah 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 he said no which is fine when i put my gauges on the actual ac system i saw that it had way too much pressure so I just started letting a little bit of Freon out of the system, um, sucking up some of the Freon. And when it got to the right amount of pressure, compressor kicked on, AC started blowing, started blowing at 65 degrees inside the cabin, then 60, and it stayed like at 55 degrees. Um, and then I happened to see something shiny underneath the driver's side seat, and guess what it was? There were like three cans of this under the, under the, the, pa the driver's side. What does that tell me? They did add Freon to it. So basically it was just overcharged. For me to make sure that it has the right amount of Freon, I have to vacuum out everything, take out all the Freon that it has in there, vacuum out the system for like 30 minutes, and then add the right amount of Freon. Every single vehicle has exactly the same though, has exactly a certain amount of Freon that each car needs. For example, this is a 12, uh, 12 ounce can. Some vehicles might need 16 ounces. Some vehicles might need 19 ounces. Some of them might need 10 ounces. Every single car is different. So whenever you buy the big can, uh, I'll put a picture of it right here, or one of them right here. Um, whenever you buy that big can that it says like it's synthetic and it's gonna be working and this and that, that big can is like 20 ounces. If your vehicle only takes 19 ounces and you already had some free on in there, guess what you just did? you just overcharged it. Now I know that some of them have the gauges right there on the top or on the little holes, but those gauges, number one, they're not accurate because an accurate gauge is expensive and they're not gonna put that, they wouldn't put that plastic gauge on the system um, at that price. They would charge you like $100 for that one can if that gauge was working properly at 100%. I'm sure you see it whenever you put it in there, the little gauge moves like this, it's because those gauges are not 100% accurate. So please just stop adding Freon to your car if it's just, if you think it's low on Freon. Now, if you know it's low on Freon, you can see where it's leaking from. You can see that it does have a leak. A lot of times you can see the leak because the AC lines, you know, they're, they're, they usually get wet because of the condensation. But if they start getting oily or you see where a spot where it looks like somebody threw oil on it, that usually means that the AC line is actually leaking Freon because the Freon is an oily substance. So when it leaks out, it looks like oil um, and then dirt will get in there and it will get like dark, like oil. If you know for sure your system is leaking out Freon, you might get away with a little bit of Freon and let you get through the weekend or get through the week till you take it to your mechanic to get fixed or till you get that hose replaced or whatever it was. But if your system does not need Freon and you just think because it's 110 degrees outside and it's just not cooling properly as it should. And you're just gonna add Freon to make it a little bit colder, it might backfire on you. Also, think about the temperatures outside. Maybe whenever they made your vehicle, we would not see 110 degrees weather outside. So your vehicle is not made for that temperature. So when it's 110, 115 degrees outside, and it's just not cooling as much as whenever it was 80 degrees outside, makes sense, right? Because it's 
a lot hotter outside. The system's working a lot harder. You might not get those awesome 50 degrees temperature inside the cabin anymore because it's 110 degrees outside. Just my thoughts on this. So if you're gonna use this, if you're gonna use the do-it-yourself cans, make sure that you are low on Freon. If you don't know if it is low on Freon, take it to a mechanic, have them check it out. But if don't just add Freon because you think it's just not cooling properly because if you overcharge it, you can burn up your compressor, you can break seals or hoses can get busted, okay? So just think about that, guys. All right, guys, I hope you found this rant um, helpful. Um, just be careful. So as always, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell for me, share the channel. I will catch you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching and you guys have yourselves a great day.